So do you, in the course of your instruction to your students, do you teach them how to write stuff about the paranormal at all? Uh, actually, I don't really bring it up unless they do, and they do bring it up a, <laughs> quite a bit. But um, every once in a while, I will offer a class that I call paranormal journalism. And the that class is, is designed, well, because I, I hate, what the media does if there's a, a story on uh bigfoot they always quote harry and the hendersons if there's a story about a ghost sighting they always quote ghostbusters and if it's a tv news story on uh, uh, a ufo sighting they play the x-files theme which completely discredits everything that any witness has to say so i teach the 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 students about you know different different aspects of the paranormal and how to report on it uh with a straight face and uh the kids really take to it so it's low hanging fruit they're reaching for there but we know what they do how do you think the media should approach the paranormal it looks like the new york times is doing it because we have those articles from leslie kane that are sensibly treated and believe it or not the, it doesn't matter what your political viewpoints are Tucker Carlson from Fox News is very, very seriously interested. He's had Nick Pope on there more than once, Leslie Kane, and he doesn't get into these rather acid comments. He's straight and serious, and you don't do that if you're not seriously interested in the subject. I think if you took him privately, he'd say, yeah despite all the political implications of the things he does, he's seriously interested. So there are exceptions in the media now. But what should the media in general be doing to cover this stuff more accurately? Well, and, and um, I, I agree with, I mean, journalists who are uh, truly interested uh, will cover it straight, as, as they should. But what what journalists should do is treat all of this seriously because there are uh, there's a good section of, of their audience i mean there, there were there are polls that come out all the time that show you know 75 percent of americans uh believe that you know there is there are there is intelligent ex extraterrestrial life out there somewhere and there's like a good 38 percent that believe in bigfoot and you know a, a bigger percentage than in that, that that believe ghosts exist and you know a fairly decent percentage who said that they've experienced something like that so there is an interest and not just an interest in the in the public there's a need for for serious journalism on on these topics um i'm not necessarily wanting to know what's going you know going on at at area 51 but or and and, and s4 but you know what it'd be because uh, i don't think we're ever going to find out but you know what about research into into bigfoot why not take people like uh, dr jeff meldrum seriously when he's looking into bigfoot this guy is a serious uh a academic and they they ignored it because they're afraid of ridicule ridicule and you know they should be braver than that and, and yes the new york times has been been handling things i was r rather shocked uh, a year ago, last December, December 2017, when they when they came out with uh, with their uh, UFO stories, I was I was you know, pretty proud of them.